Hello people, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today in this video, I am going to show you how I am going to upgrade my laptop, which is Acer Nitro 5, and the model number is. Let me look. It. The model number is Nitro AN51543, which is AMD Ryzen 5 model 3550H, which comes with a 1 TB hard disk. I swapped the hard disk with a 128 GB M.2 SSD already but i haven't recorded the video of doing that now i ordered this crucial 8 gb of ram 2400 msf frequency before that let me quickly show you how much of ram <laughs> this laptop actually takes so just now i restarted my system it should be bare minimum uh, look at this on idle it is taking around 2.6 out of 5.9 which is 6 gb of ram and the remaining 2.1 gb is the reserved for graphics and you cannot actually use the 2.1 GB of graphics if you bought the model which is AMD Ryzen 5 plus NVIDIA 1650 graphics card. That graphics card doesn't have uh, its own RAM. It's taken from the system memory. Actually you cannot uh, reallocate any of this uh, memory size. It's actually hardware reserved and I watched uh, all the videos on YouTube, tweaking, BIOS, settings, softwares. You can't do anything to get back this reserved 2.1 gb of ram we have to live with this 5.9 which is around 6 gb of ram let me show you based on my usage how much of ram do i really need to quite let me fire up this studio code some java codes over here let me open up my browser actually it has like one two three four five six Type spin next let me see how much ram does it take right now raise to so it's getting filled up like right now i just opened vs code and uh, browser it took 4 gb of ram uh, like 2 gb of remaining and as well as i use mozilla and one another big software which is bubsuit and start uh, right now you can see that 4.8 gb is filled out of 5.9 like 80 percentage of memory is almost full this is my daily task and always i run like above 80 percentage of memory let me sort it down like you can see that vs code takes <laughs> if i sum up all these megabytes I'm not sure how it will come like uh, 4 GB of RAM but it shows 4 GB <laughs> let me try my best to show you unscrewing if you like my channel give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos related to this laptop comment down i'll try my best to upload those things yamaha fan got the sticker from my back this guy is not coming out yeah where are you going see so you should stop from this guy So I tried my best to open this back cover with my single hand but I can't do that so I already opened this oh. you can see I uh, cannot open this way actually you have to open from this side this side and I have to take this like this actually this thing goes inside so goes inside the hole the rabbit hole <laughs> okay so you have to pull this up and take like this else so i try <laughs> to pull from this side and i started to hear some noise some cracking noise Hopefully I didn't break anything. Everything looks fine. You can see it as 
one PC is not over here and another SATA is not over here but before buying this laptop I was done YouTube they showed it has two M.2 slots right here but in my laptop one over here and another over here and one comes pre-applied with this very small heatsink I think so you can see this is the previous 8 GB of RAM and the another slot is free to be occupied now let me see this Shell HGB. Actually, this is my first time buying a laptop and upgrading the RAM. Oh, it doesn't go in this way. Now to turn it around. Now it fits perfectly. Oh, wow. That's it. So simple. It's perfect. In future, I may upload video of upgrading my love with the sweetie PCIe NVMe slot. I have to put the cover first to go inside the rabbit hole. It's perfect. Okay, so let me check the task manager. Oh. oh wow so it says 20 percentage i think the rams director just can see 13.9 gb of ram it's available thanks for watching my video bye bye